big con man, best actor in wrestling, and Jake something, bro. I'm not gonna lie, Jake seemed slightly intimidated by Khan, bro. Khan a little bit bigger. Not bigger, but taller, man. But Jake pushed him back, bro, and Jake wasn't taking, you know, Jake was standing his ground. He wasn't taking no shit. He's still ready to throw down. Uh, Cody actually did something cool, man. He's like, this ain't the spot, bro. This ain't the place. Next week, tonight, the next episode, my two favorite people on TNA, Khan and Jake something, go at it. I'm fucking hyped, bro. This 20th anniversary. This is a fight, bro. This is man versus man. This is monster versus Superman. Let's see who gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Had some pretty good acting by Khan. <laughs> Sounded intense. <laughs> and lowered his <laughs> voice and cadence. <laughs> Got very serious with Jake something. Said, I've worked and I listened to Dina before. It didn't work out for me. Leaves. Jake looks at Dina and says, I got this. Stay out of it. Dina looks like, oh, he just looked like he listened. He looked like he going to listen. I like Diener too, I don't know what's up with Diener, he getting a little bigger now. I don't know if he on the Riz or something, or just doing a workout every day on his arms. Dog looking jacked right now. He's starting to get jacked, I, I like it. Maybe a push coming. Hey, we got Sammy Callahan going against another maniac, Jonathan Gresham. This is the match I've been waiting for all week. Let's see where it leads. This is my favorite story right now in wrestling, bro. This shit is wild. This guy know what he's doing, bro, and TNA knows how to do it. Sammy looking good, telling the story good. Not taking his eyes off Gresham. We know Sammy's been in the ring with crazy motherfuckers. But how crazy is Gresham? Is Gresham more crazy than Sammy? Because if he is, that's a problem. Because Sammy's one of the craziest motherfuckers in this game, bro. And if Gresham's already more crazier than him, that's a problem for the whole TNA locker room. Especially Santino, bro. Santino gonna get sick next, I bet you. Hey, fucking, uh, Jonathan Gresham got a white beard now, looking hard as hell, bro. He looking like some OG. Sammy Callahan hyping up the crowd with the, the claps going on. Now that it zooms out, you can see the referee wearing a mask and a motherfucking gloves. They're both talking shit to each other. See what's up. Thumbs up, thumbs down, match begins. Let's go. Jonathan Gresham trying to bite Sammy Callahan. Just eat him like a fucking zombie. What is going on right now, dude? This guy's insane. Sammy's scared, bro. Sammy's a little bit, not scared, but he's a little bit thrown off. And he keeps telling the crowd, he keeps going to the crowd to hype him up and get him back in the match and fight this guy face forward. I, I understand that, bro, because he keeps getting psyched out just about. I like this. I like this. Wrist control by Sammy Callahan. Knee to the midsection by Gresham. Wrist control by Gresham. Same thing, working the arm. Damn, this Gresham stay trying to bite him, bro. Now Cammy getting pissed. Shot him right in the face, bro. He ain't taking that shit. Actually, Sammy might like this. Ah, Sammy bites him instead, bro. I knew it. Sammy crazy, bro. Sammy, you're crazy. If Gresham can get crazier, bro, this gonna be a problem. I like this shit. It's a good fucking match already. Good storytelling. Now the match really begins. On the outside, Sammy Callahan brings it out with big ass chop. Crazy eyes. Wiping the hands off. Easy peasy. He's in his mode. He's in the zone. He's got John Gresham where he wants. On the outside of the ring. Slapping his chest. Mac Daddy boy. John Gresham is playing up, bro. He being vicious. He attacking. He literally a zombie. I can't even explain. He's a zombie. This shit's fucking wild, bro. Slap bat on the back. Chop fest. You ain't gonna beat Sammy on that one, bro. Sammy, you know, he got that, uh... He got that jacket on covering his chest. And he got big hands. He a heavy dude, bro. He put that shit right through you. What the fuck is going on, bro? Gresham is one of the best technical wrestlers in the world. And he's just raking eyes. Stomping out. Trying to bite people. This, something's up with the dude, bro. Jordan Grace hasn't been hitting that in a minute. Or maybe Jordan Grace has been hitting that just the other way. Ah! I don't know what's been going on with Gresham, bro. But he's trying to murder people. Stomp on the head in the apron by Gresham. Goes taunting. Goes talking to the ref. Gets caught by Sammy Callahan. 
big back suplex onto the apron. And then Sammy just starts slamming his fucking head and slamming dog's octopus brains into the metal pole. Two times. Dog is happy. He's fun. He's finally hurting Gresham and having fun now. Gresham come back with the water bottle hit. Water bottle didn't do shit to Sammy Callahan because it's plastic. Callahan come back with the knife edge chop. Rocks Gresham. Sets up Gresham on the uh, metal pole. Goes to chop him and you know like all the time. Fucking idiot. Goes to chop him. Gresham ducks. Hits his arm on the pole. Back in the ring. Gresham goes after the eye again. One thing I'd like to see, I don't know if it's gonna happen in this match, but Gresham keep tearing at that eye. Maybe he can do some fake blood on the guy's eye or something. Like, he cutting his eye out, trying to really tear his eye out. That'd be pretty fucking cool. Maybe just fuck it, go WWE route and have him really tear an eye out. <laughs> and eat it like a zombie. <laughs> don't please, TNA, don't fucking do that shit. Keep this good, man. Keep this like a rated R serious scary movie, man. Keep it adult. Rated R. Make this shit rated R. For real, bro. If you listening to TNA, bro, you got this John Gresham story. Make this shit rated R, bro. See how fucking psychologically far you can take this shit. Because I really enjoy it. Match continues. Fighting in the ring. Biting in the ring. Go on the apron. Both punching each other. Sammy Callahan getting the uh, best of every fight, bro every fight i don't know what john gresham doing because he trying to fight Ooh, that's what i mean bro sammy callahan just power drove gresham on the ring apron i don't know what gresham doing because the way he fighting bro he fighting people that are better fighters than him trying to beat him up Dog's just getting his head slammed into fucking metal poles and his neck beat up on the apron. Like, this is dangerous even for fucking Gresham. Gresham's putting his body in more harm. So something's up with the dude. Something not good is happening to the dude. Even for himself. Even for his own bodily harm, bro. The dog out here taking big hits against a guy that could whoop his ass and he just keep trying to fight him. Jonathan Gresham is convulsing in the ring as Sammy Callahan doesn't notice a fucking thing. The dog just went Randy Orton mode and popped back up. Hey, this is what I'm talking about right here. Crazy versus crazy. Sammy gets on his knees, gets on his belly, head to head with motherfucking Gresham. We gonna see who crazier because Sammy gonna fight crazy with crazy. We going right now. Chop battle, fight battle. We on it. Who gonna win? Fight forever, baby. Who more crazy right now? We gonna see if Gresham really a problem, or he gonna be shut down. Maybe the sickness is more of a problem for Gresham and less of a problem for everybody else. We'll find out right now. Sammy once again wins the fight battle, the punch battle, the you know back and forth battle with the hand to hand combat like he been doing. Big DVD rewinds his fucking neck back, snaps it with the Death Valley driver. Sammy going for the win. Enziguri reversal. Gresham up, springboard, backflip, he in the match, it's time, octopus stretch, Sammy's done, dog, Gresham put the fucking ink on his hands, and Sammy covered his mouth and got the ink on his hands, he's fucking freaked, bro, middle fucking finger, the middle finger, the kick to the groin, the nut kick by Jonathan Gresham, and he wins the match without even doing one wrestling move the whole fucking match. This guy's insane, bro, and he's a problem. He's a problem. He's a problem, bro. He kick you in the dick and puke on you with some fucking weird shit. Sammy fucking shaking, dude. Sammy's scared. Don't. Oh, we got one of my favorite women's wrestlers ever, Gail Kim, man. So much respect for her, bro. God bless Gail Kim. And it kept me watching wrestling, for real. Kept me watching professional wrestling. Kept this shit alive for me. Um, got this shit going with Giselle Grant. I don't know what's up with it. We'll see how it goes. See, it's cool. Um, she a tranny? I'm fine with it. I like Nyla Rose. I just don't like looking at people that look like they want to get fucked all the time. So she dressed respectfully now. I've seen her before not dressed like that. But they talk about her being a wrestler now. And I respect anybody. So I respect her. She wants to go out there and wrestle. You know, that's cool. I don't want to see people dress like they want to get fucked all the time. Honestly, some of these women get annoying showing their asses all the time. As much as I like to see a nice ass, like, I like to see good wrestling. I'm here to watch wrestling, man. And honestly, 
if you wrestle better with tights on to the females, I watch the match more than watch your ass, to be honest. I'm missing wrestling moves because you guys' ass looks so nice. So, I don't know. Hopefully, uh, the Giselle Grant start wrestling because I don't want to look at a dude and that looks like he wants to get fucked. I'll just change it. Sorry, I'm not going to watch it. I respect wrestling, though. So, if you wrestle, I'll respect it. Just like Nyla Rose. Nyla Rose is the fucking shit. I think you could become champ, too, if you really wrestle. So, let's do it. Let's see what's up on the 20th anniversary of TNA. Giselle Grant. Let's see what up. I'm going to be watching your match, man. Shit. I talk to every girl like a dude. I ain't being disrespectful to him, man, by the way. I call you a female because you want to be. <laughs> Next up, we got Beef being settled tonight with a score to be settled. We got Steve Macklin, that sly motherfucker. I know what he's going to do. He's going to have the rascals come out and help him win the match. But we got Steve Macklin versus that motherfucking badass, Santana. Let's go. So Santana got what it is. And I can't wait to see them line up to each other because I don't know who's bigger than who. I didn't see the pay-per-view. I think Santana honestly probably bigger right now. The dog beat the fuck up. I want to see if a guy can really fight. He's saying he that guy. He from New York. He from the streets. Let's see if they got it. World, former world champ versus former tag team champion. Right now, let's see what happens. Steve Macklin versus Santana. Beef settled. Man, this is a good match, man. Steve was getting the uh, upper hand. About midway point. Start doing his thing. Santana get it back. They start going back and forth. Double dives out. Suicide dive out by Steve. And then the motherfucking rascals came like I thought, but they didn't help nobody. They whooped ass this week, bro. They came with the hands. They came just like Steve. It looked like, looked like they learned something from Steve. You want to get the job done, do it on your time. Don't do it on their time when they're ready. Do it on your time when you're ready. The rascals came out, threw hands, settled their beef. Well, I guess not settled it, but they made their stake in the claim that we ain't taking this L. They ain't just L takers. I respect the rascals for that. They ain't no L takers, bro. They gonna come get that dub. So you gonna whoop my ass? I ain't getting that ass whooping. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Respect. Respect. They look like men this week. They look like leaders this week. That's what you do. Lead yourself to be a man. Don't go under the foot of anybody, rascals. Fuck up and fuck everybody up if you have to. But going after Santana, I don't know if you want that smoke. Santana was giving Steve the smoke, and Steve been giving both of y'all the smoke. So Santana can give both of y'all the smoke just as equally as Steve. So I'd watch y'all back, rascals. From both now, y'all might have fucked up. Bringing a second man into this equation. Let's go, boy. We got Mustafa Ali. With that motherfucker by his side. I don't even want to mention his motherfucking name right now, bro. Fuck him. I thought it was Ginger Mahal. It ain't Ginger, though. But he fighting Leon Slater tonight. He fighting that real one. That RN Leon Slater. From the UK. We gonna see how dogs do, you know. He a future X Division champion. And I feel like he gonna beat Mustafa Ali one day. Not tonight. Mustafa got too much of a plan. Leon too young in the game. He don't know what to do yet. He gonna use this though. He gotta learn. He gotta lose this match and learn though how to be better. Here we go. Mustafa Ali coming out with that uh, Skyrim like entrance. If you guys ever played Elder Scrolls Skyrim, listen to the theme song of that game, bro. This song sounds kind of like that. So, uh, I'll let y'all know what happened at the match right after. I ain't gonna go through it. Fuck it. Just smoke the ball and enjoy it. Man, two of the flashiest wrestlers in the world and the planet right now. I'm excited to see what happens. Mustafa Ali gonna win, obviously. He got the game plan. But I feel like Slater gonna give him some kicks and shit. Hit him with that heel kick. Knock him on his ass. Knock him for a loop for a couple seconds. Ali gonna be the winner, though. Damn, Ali's dude did not get involved in that match. Was, holy shit. Every move they did looked like it fucking hurt. There's so many moves in there that looked like it hurt. For real. Dog, everything was so smooth in that match. It was just like butter. That shit was smooth as butter, bro. Them two need to wrestle again. That was amazing. I don't know, bro. I'm, after that match, I fucking love Mustafa Ali, bro. That dude can do anything. 
some fuck. Here we go, boy. We got Moose walking up the steps. Pissed off, bro. He pushing some white boys around. Don't fuck with this. Ooh, don't fuck with this big black motherfucker. White boy. Ah, I'm a white boy too. <laughs> I'm a little white boy too, bro. He picked me up and choke slam my ass to a table, probably. Break me a part of the system. <laughs> We're coming up now. The main event, baby. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Henry. This is that stupid, smug motherfucker, Eddie Edwards, with his bitch ass wife and his bitch ass buddy, Kurt Hawkins. Go blow him. Go blow him after the match, because he's about to lose, buddy, buddy. Let's we'll see what's up after the match. Hey, Joe Henry won that motherfucker, bro. One, two, three. He beat the system. He got some ass whoopings coming to him, but that that's a step in the right direction. He getting closer and closer and closer to that main event. I bet you he could smell it. He could smell Beyonce's booty. Ooh, he right next to Beyonce's booty. I bet you it smell great. Next thing you know, he gonna be smelling championship gold and money a few months down the line, probably. Maybe, maybe during the summer. Who knows? Let's get lit, boy. Let's get lit. Say his name and he appears at the Royal Rumble this year. Joe Henry at the Royal Rumble. Let's do it. Ah. All right. Here we go, boy. We got the 20th anniversary of TNA right now. I'm going to check that shit out. I'm so hyped. TNA has been part of my childhood and life for a long time, man. Ever since I was 10 years old. I'm 28 now. That's 18 years. That's amazing. I love TNA, and I'm glad it's back. And I actually, I prayed it would get the respect it deserves, and I prayed TNA would come back. And like two weeks later, it came back. I believe God's answering my prayers. And with the NXT and TNA shit, TNA gonna get it's just doing this business. Because they done held shit down for so long. It did a lot of good stuff in this business. Legendary shit. Legendary shit in this business. Kurt Angle had his best moments in TNA. Jeff Hardy, best moments in TNA. Matt Hardy, best moments in TNA. Sting, best moments in TNA. Jeff Jarrett, best moments in TNA. Team 3D, best moments in TNA. AJ Styles, best moments in TNA. Abyss, best moments in TNA. Christian Cage, best moments in TNA. We have to say any more? Samoa Joe, best moments in TNA. So many legends in this game, man. And I ain't even saying a lot more. Chris Daniels. Fucking amazing red. Fucking a lot of people. Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, lots. TNA is that shit. 20th anniversary, let's get it. 